deep in the dark void space of ages. Ahu Nawilona, the creator, gathered all thought from the vast universe, gathered all thought from across the universe into himself and then burst, exploded, birthed himself as our sun. Ho'onawilona now as the sun, he sent his thought as light out into the universe. There mist were drawn from the atmosphere, mists upon mists, sheaths of mists, sheaths upon sheaths of mists formed dark, deep clouds, which then cracked and broke open, pouring their great oceans into a world-forming, world-swallowing ocean and sea that wrapped around the great Mother Earth. And the sun, the sun, he saw the mother so beautiful she was. She rolling, churning, turning, and these endless rhythm of waves that he fell in love with her. And he sent his love as light down to penetrate her waters. And lo, from the love of light and water. A green substance slipped out and floated upon the great mother's watery body. And she enveloped herself in this green cloak. It hung about her rocky, stony body, knowing that all life on earth, all plant, all animal and human life would be born from this cloak. The great mother lay back, sinking deep into the ocean, and she spoke to the sun father. How will our children know their home in this place? And then the great mother, as if to answer her own question, she lifted up a bit of water into her hand. Holding this sweet, cool pool of water, she said, just as I hold this water and my fingers form these rim rock mesa cliffs, so I will hold water in my body. And with her finger, she stirred the water until a bit of foam gathered on its surface. And she blew that foam. And it floated up as a cloud. Then the sun father, with his icy cold breath, scattered the cloud into a mist. Ah, oh, the mother laughed. So it will be that when the clouds lift up off of the great waters at the boundary of the land, and they are carried up into the skies, they will be carried and blown about by both our breaths, cool and warm. And when they open and shed downward as great sheets of rain upon the earth, I will gather them in the fold of my body. And there our children will know one place from another as their home. Not you alone, said the Sun Father, will nourish our children. And out of his sunlight, a hand stretched forth with seven golden seed grains of grass. He tipped his hand, and the grass seeds fell into one of these small pools of water. There, in the dim light of the early world dawn, 
those seven seed grains of grass be clean and glistened as if they were made of gold. Then the great mother, she turned herself, cracking, opening, swallowing the seven seed grains of grass into her body, into the first womb world of the great mother.